The rest column communication system for confined space is basically made up of four components. The first one is the headset. The second one is the interface that powers the system. The third is your communication rope or cable. And the fourth is a junction box that's going to connect you to the other people on the system. Let me demonstrate the connection of the headset to the interface. Once the headset is connected to the interface, we now connect the cable or the communication rope to the interface. A significant click tells you there's a secure connection with this military style connector. Once connected, you can now power up the system with the on off switch. The final step in completing the system is to take the communication rope and connect it to a junction box. Once connected, you can now add other entrants to the system. The second person on the RESTCOM communication confined space system would connect similarly to the first person. Headset, connected to the interface. Communication rope or cable, connected to the interface. And the other end of the cable would connect into the junction box that the first person on the system as connected to. And again, the click gives you that indication that there's a secure connection. This junction box now can be added to, or you can now use it as a two-man system. An accessory that allows multiple entrants to enter a confined space on one communication cable is our T-connector. Once the T-connector is connected to the communication cable, the second communication cable would connect to the next entrant and so on, allowing everybody to communicate through one communication cable. The T-connector has the same connectors on it as the cables and the ropes and is military style. The RESTCOM communication cable reel has incorporated a junction box into the cable reel to allow up to three supervisors to connect. The military style connectors are the same as the rest of the system. And I blew that.